everyone and welcome back to part 17 of my family dynamics legacy household so we are starting off this episode with a little bit of drama so this is my bone hilda um she's currently repairing the computer that she broke from playing video games or something but she came downstairs with kenzie and kenzie was in a flirty mood and i had kenzie do like a proper introduction and i guess autonomously she must have flirted with bone hilda now i don't know if bone hilda is like very flirty in everyone's game or just mine i do think it's kind of in her programming i think like in all the sims games she's just a flirty skeleton which is really funny but yeah we're starting off this episode with a little bit of drama um so if i actually come over here you'll see kenzie's kind of like oh my goodness and then if i show you andrew he's gonna be all angry um but hopefully this video isn't too annoying you guys but my audio did get corrupted so I am currently doing a second voiceover so this me talking is not live with the gameplay it's done afterwards but hopefully this video isn't too annoying um I'm sorry it's the best I could do um but yeah if I show you you can see he's all annoyed because he caught Kenzie flirting with Bone Hilda and now he has like the fear of being cheated on he's all jealous he's all angry and it's just crazy because in my not so berry legacy challenge the founder um caught her husband cheating and could not give to poops <laughs> like she didn't care at all but now these sims are like they care over like the tiniest thing so it's just different it's funny how different households can react completely different to like similar situations but I also think maybe in my other household like free love or something was going on to cause him to cheat and also to cause her to not really care um but yeah let's um try to apologize to him try to make him feel like we love him and he has no reason to be jealous or upset and okay is he gonna take our apology all right it doesn't look like he's really taking our apology he's really annoyed with us and of course we gotta argue in her daughter's bedroom while she's trying to sleep because there's no better place we could be having this conversation right now like are you serious does he hate us now do we have a bad sentiment with him no i mean they're okay and like Look, she doesn't even have any romance with Bone Hilda in her relationships. Like, there's no pink bar under the relationship. So he has no reason to, like, technically we didn't actually flirt with her if, if no pink bar is coming up, right? I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But, so I want to have them have kind of a at-home date this episode to try to knock one of the dates out. So I'm going to buy a popcorn maker, have them make some popcorn, and have them watch a movie together. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys that I downloaded this custom content mod off the gallery. So Chris was a goofball and adventurous, and I replaced the adventurous trait with this death trait, which is actually really cool. So apparently it's supposed to make it so he's nonverbal and communicates with his hands because I did give him a hearing aid in both of his ears, and he is deaf. Um, so I think this is going to be a really cool mod to explore. Like I said, I'll leave the information in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, he's actually going through a mood swing right now where like it said something like Chris is going to be really moody and want to wear all black and everything. So it's kind of funny how he has a black bedroom and that came up. I love when the game like goes along with the story I have for my Sims. I think that's so cool. All right, you guys, so they're just going to have a cozy little stay at home date and watch a romance movie together. I have them watching romance. Hopefully they can pull out their popcorn and eat it and they can knock out one of these dates uh -huh. for the soulmate aspiration because we just have to do two more dates flirt and then we're done with generation one and we can officially focus on generation two i also want to make sure we focus on ambrosia's childhood aspiration this episode because that's going to really help ambrosia later on in life as well 
All right, they pulled out the popcorn and they're being all cute. Hopefully I can knock out all of these tasks so that they can get the gold date because it won't count towards our aspiration if it's not gold. I think it's so funny how we have the skeleton over here just hanging out. It's just a normal day in the cross family. This is such a supernatural generation. We had the ghost mom. Now we have a skeleton maid. It's just casual everyday things going on in this household. And just like that, we completed a gold date. Let's go. Did it count? Okay, I think I have to cancel it first for it to count, and then we should get credit for this. There we go. Only one more date to go, you guys, and I just have to have them flirt a bunch more. And that's that. I would actually love it if Chris could come over here and, not Chris, Andrew could come over here and upgrade the treehouse. So I'm actually having him upgrade and adding a slide and he's also going to add a sliding pole and then ambrosia actually has to come pretend in the treehouse for her childhood aspiration so i'm gonna have her do that as well um i just have to say i think it's so cool that she can still use the treehouse while he's upgrading it I think that's a really cool feature and because it is talk like a pirate day um out of all of the pretend options i thought it would be most suiting if we had her pretend to be a pirate so that's what she's gonna do right now for her childhood aspiration and i just think it's so cute how the sims 4 shows off the imagination skill how it's like crayon like colorings almost i just think it's so adorable she is such a cutie Okay, so Andrew finished adding this slide, which is great. Let's have him add the pole. Um, he is in such an angry mood because of Kenzie quote unquote cheating or flirting with Bone Hilda. I just think it's so funny. Um, but yeah, let's have him add that pole. And now um, I had Chris invite over his friend Kiyoshi and we're gonna watch him talk to Kiyoshi because I really wanna see if he actually doesn't talk and just uses like hand motions because of this mod trait that I have him having. And yeah, it looks like it's working. That's so cool. I really love that he's like so unique to any sim I've ever played before. This really adds so much dynamic and realism to your game. If you want to have like deaf sims, I would definitely check out this mod. That's so cool. Um, we're going to be silly, maybe do some pranks to him because for his uh, teen aspiration he does want to do some pranks so we're gonna be a little bit of a goofball and then he needs to overcome swimming so I think I'm gonna have them swim in the pool together and see if we can get over his fear of swimming you know I forgot we could add decorations to this so let's go ahead and add some fairy tale decorations because I feel like that's gonna go with Ambrosia's vibe the best um, so yeah let's go ahead and add some of those I'm also going to set it so only children can enter, no teens or adults can enter so that her parents can't keep woohooing up here because I think they might have did that once if I remember correctly. I can't remember. Um, and yeah, I think it looks so cute with those decorations. I'm having Ambrosio watch the Brainchild TV channel to try to work on her mental skill. Um, and the whole family is kind of joining in and hanging out with her as well, which is really nice to see. It's funny because Kiyoshi's in the background just horribly playing piano. So Ambrosia finally got her mental skill up and really we're just waiting for it to be nighttime so I can have her stargaze. So in the meantime, we're going to have her practice the piano because she does need to like max the piano later on in life. So we might as well have her start as a child. All right, and I finally had Chris and Kiyoshi out here swimming to get over Chris's fear of swimming. Yep, you guys, it worked. He is over his fear of swimming. He's even having a relaxed swim, which is so nice to see. Now we just need him to get over his fear of the dark. Ambrosia is still over here practicing piano. Her parents are asleep. Kiyoshi actually went home for the night, but because it is actually dark out now, we can actually have Ambrosia stargaze. So let's go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to have um, Andrew wake up and use the bathroom and then continue upgrading the treehouse and add some lights because um, he already finished adding the slide and the pole 
What the heck? Why is the toilet flaming? Is that because he's angry? I've never seen that before. Is that some insane glitch? I promise you guys, we don't have like the eco living, like combustible toilet or anything. So that is so weird. And this toilet was not pranked. So I have no idea what that was all about, but we just had a flaming toilet. Kenzie's social is low, so she's coming over to flirt with him while he works on the treehouse. Hopefully he's not mad at us anymore for flirting with Bone Hilda because, yeah, that was a thing. Alright, Ambrosia is finally coming out here to stargaze. Hopefully this works and I don't have to buy a telescope because the aspiration does actually tell you to buy a telescope. But I'm trying to avoid that because I know Sims can die with the telescopes if they get hit by a meteor. So I'd like to avoid that at all costs, if possible. But if I have to buy it, I will. Is it going to work? Yes, it worked. Okay, awesome. So what next? Well, she actually needs to sleep in the treehouse for her aspiration. So let's see if we can come up here and sleep. Yes, and Andrew finished the lights, so I'm going to set the lights to purple because I believe that is what I want Ambrosia's favorite color to be. So there we go. It's now summer as well. Chris is getting up. Um, his needs are fairly okay, but I'll have him take care of himself real quick. Okay, and Ambrosia is waking up from her sleep in the treehouse, but for whatever reason, it's not counting towards her childhood aspirations so we're probably gonna have to have her sleep in it for at least one more night and then hopefully it will count. Chris is still working on his medium skill. He's only a level three but considering the medium skill only goes up to a level five he's actually doing really good and he can actually evoke the dead now so that's what we're trying to do and I feel like Ambrosia would come upstairs and yell at him like what the heck are you doing? But I really want to see this because I haven't seen it yet. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got specters. I didn't know you could get specters if the house wasn't haunted. Uh, that's pretty neat. Um, it looks like they're angry. They're all red. Um, can we do anything with them? I guess we'll try to communicate. Oh my goodness, are they going to start fires? What the heck? Look at Ambrosia. She is like, Chris, what did you do? What is that thing? Oh my goodness. Look at its teeth. It's got like Mario Kart, like Bowser or those bullet teeth. I don't remember what the bullet's called. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Is he going to set the house on fire? That is so crazy. I've never seen these before. Okay. Let's see if we can do anything with them. Actually, Ambrosia, get out of his room. Go do your own thing. Go play the violin. Let him communicate with the dead and leave him alone. I feel like he would be like, get out of my room. You're not supposed to be in here when I'm doing this stuff. <laughs> you know, like typical big brother attitude. Like, I don't think he would enjoy having his little sister in the room. But, um, wait, we need to make them something in order to gift them. Okay. Um, I think if we do this, it makes his age do down, go down, so I don't want to do that. Um, so we're just going to attempt to communicate and see what happens. Even though we're scared of them, but yeah, I would be scared of them too. They're blowing fire and everything. And I still wonder, like, how his parents would react. Like, would Kenzie be mad at him for doing this stuff, or is she, like, kind of like okay with it because she used to be a ghost herself like I don't really know how I feel but she's heading off to work um she should probably be on maternity leave soon but it's fine she can go ahead and go Andrew needs to go ahead and take care of his needs EA truly did such a good job of making the specters look so cute even though they're sad like just look at them look at the little frowny face they're so cute um well, unfortunately, we really can't do anything other than attempt to talk with you because I don't have anything to gift you. Um, so, not Ambrosia going to talk with them as well. It's really funny because if you think about it, Ambrosia wasn't around for Kenzie being a ghost, but she's still having a pretty supernatural upbringing just because of her brother, like, summoning ghosts and stuff. But it looks like she's unfazed. She went back in her room. 
Um, let's have her come back downstairs and keep working on her logic skill because she needs to do that for her childhood aspiration. And then because we're not able to gift them anything, let's have Chris come make something. I'm going to have him come make a friendship bracelet and then maybe try to gift that to the specter. Okay, Chris is actually all sparkly too. Did he make his friendship bracelet? He did. Okay, let's try to gift that to the ghost. Okay, so the ghost is happy now. Can we gift him... Are you kidding me? We can't gift him the friendship bracelet? It said homemade with love. Surely the friendship bracelet is homemade. We made it ourselves. Okay. All right. So we got to make something else to give to the specter. So um, seeing as our dad was a writer, maybe we're going to take after our dad and we can write a book for the specter. Maybe we'll write like a cute little uh, children's book and gift it to them. And we'll name it... Let's do Specky the Spectre. Ambrosia is being the little multitasking queen. She is everything I could have hoped for and more because she is not only working on her mental skill by watching the TV, but she's working on her creativity skill at the same time because she got her little kitty toy and she is just adorable. I love her so much. I am gonna have so much fun with her generation, I'm hoping. Okay, so I just got a notification that she's in a loud phase, which just goes, again, I love it when the game goes along with the story I have planned for my Sims, because when your Sims have the loud phase, they end up playing instruments autonomously, which is something we need her to do. We need her to play piano and violin anyways, so it just works out so perfectly. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever had Chris write and he's already a level five of the writing skill. This is insane. How the heck did he level so fast? And he's only ever wrote in one book and he, is it glitched? Cause he still hasn't finished the, the book. I feel like he should be done with it by now. It's a children's book. Um, I can't stop him from doing it. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, he is finished with it, and look how perfect it is. It has a ghost on it and everything. It's a perfect children's book to gift to the ghost. Okay, you guys, so Kenzie is currently in labor, so I am going to end off the episode with us having a at-home pregnancy. Um, pregnancy isn't the word. Labor, birth, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I am so sorry that I had to do a voiceover um, because my audio got corrupted and you are a trooper if you made it that far. Hopefully it wasn't too terrible. Um, the video at this point, her having the birth should be synced um, because this audio shouldn't be messed up, but this is just the end of the video. so. Um, I did get name suggestions for both boys and girls, so I am excited. And I did not use MC Command Ch Center to cheat, so you guys should be proud of me. I have no idea what the gender of the baby is going to be. And oh my goodness, it's a girl. Okay, this is awesome. Because um, I actually got the name suggestion Priscilla from Carolina Zavito2088. And I have not used a name from... Uh, Carolina yet. So thank you so much Carolina for your name suggestion. I think Priscilla is so pretty. So now we have little Priscilla Cross and Ambrosia and Chris have a little sister. Look how cute. She's got the little butterfly onesie. I really need Kenzie to um, up her knitting skill so that we can maybe knit her a different onesie before she ages up into an infant because I don't think she's going to stay a newborn for very long. I think it lasts maybe like a day in the game. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for watching it if you made it this far in the video. And again, I'm so sorry for the audio problems. Um, hopefully it won't happen again because I was able to figure out what caused it. I watched like a little tutorial to fix it and everything should be good from here on out. Uh, we just have literally one more date to go on, more flirting, and then we are officially done with Gen 1, and Gen 2 is pretty much almost done with her childhood aspiration. So we are on track to start Gen 2, which I am so excited for. This has been a 
interesting supernatural generation, but I'm excited to start the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.